Welcome back to the channel everyone. So today I'm going to be doing kind of a little review on that CNC plaza table uh, that y'all know I have. Um, been getting a couple requests about it. Here it is. I'm going to kind of walk you through uh, the software a little bit. Uh, machine setup. Then again, I don't know everything. So anyhow, but I'm going to kind of walk you through the, the program. Also, got some t-shirts. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the back, but anyhow. If you want a t-shirt, this is the only the only plug I'm going to do. T-shirt, uh, paintingfabrication.com. Go check it out. But <clears throat> anyhow, I'm going to get get the uh, plasma cutter finished setting up, and then I'll kind of go through what we got going on. That's going to be annoying. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Anyhow, we'll, we'll see if we can't figure something out there. But we're going to get the um, machine hooked up the thing here, and I'll kind of walk you through how, to, how, to, how I set it up, and then... Uh, We'll get on to the uh, software here in a second. Okay, so got everything basically set up. Obviously, you got plasma cutter, torch, ground in here. Um, so, a couple questions. I have this better here. But <clears throat> the on off switch. So, this is a PowerMax 30 XP uh, Hypertherm. And some some of them already have like a machine option they already have a plug-in so that's that's what you tie into but this one does not so all i did was i took the torch apart find out what color wires run the uh the, the uh trigger on the torch and then i just open up the cover and then uh they're they're displaced in over here so that's how you get you got two wires coming out of the uh langmuir systems here and that's all you do you just you just tee them you just tie them together so that's the on off for the torch um so you need power obviously to the uh, control module, got the laptop, and basically it's set up, ready to start cutting. So figured out how to how to get past this by um, <clears throat> more or less just turning the brightness up. But anyhow, so we've got several projects going on here at uh, Panic Fab, but that truck been working on. That's the bed for it. Um, coil overs, four link, so. We're gonna be we're kind of working on. I'm gonna be cutting some stuff right now for that. But also we got another project. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Okay. So this is the first. This is gonna be a little, a little goofy because you're not be able to see. Let me try to get something back. Like I said, we got multiple projects going on. Um, this is a little side job, um, little side job that I just got in. But uh those that know about my welding rig um this is going to be a bottle an oxygen bottle carrier um so two oxygen bottles will slide in this part of it so that's what this this is the first part to it and then there'll be a second piece that slides over to hold them in with, this, with a center nut to hold it in place but anyhow this is the first piece we're going to cut out this is basically the the main part everything else i'm going to cut by hand with the torch this is just a lot easier to, to cut i don't have a, a circle burner for my torch so the easiest thing to do is just straight you know trace it out in here put it on the plaza table and uh, cut it out. So what we've got here, now let me, let me just open up a new thing here and see if I can show you how, how to make a quick sketch. So this is uh, Fusion 360, as you can see up there. So what we're gonna do to make a quick sketch, go, we'll just, we'll just use a line here. So we're gonna select this plane, this is the X and Y, or sorry, yeah, X and Y, no Z axis. But all it is is, you know, you're gonna, whatever you wanna sketch, you know, we'll just do a simple uh, rectangle or something, or just say a, a gusset you wanna cut out. So you just, basically you just, you know, click and drag. Once it's, uh, you know, glowing orange more or less, it's a, uh, you know, a completed, a completed shape. So that's basically, you know, I'm not gonna go into this a whole lot, but you know, you can, draw out whatever you want as long as it fits on the table you know you draw it out in here and then make that make that happen but anyhow let's get back to let's let's go back to this and we're going to go ahead and get this ready you know convert it to g code which is what the uh, machine needs to to in order to cut this so what we're going to do i've already, I've already drawn this out like i said uh, got panic fab logo there in the corner this is just the face plate um these are nine and a half inch diameter circles um an oxygen bottle is roughly about nine inches so we're going to give ourselves a uh, a little bit of breathing room there but so here in the corner we got model there's there's a bunch of them here this and 
this program it does does a lot more than just what you know we're using it for but anyhow we've already got it drawn out in in model so that's why you do all your drawing then we're gonna come down here to manufacture we're gonna click on that and it's gonna load up a different screen here a little bit different um, I haven't figured out a way to make this stay in inches so I gotta come over here every time convert it to inches click OK so now we should be should be good there so the first thing we need to do is create a setup so and all these all these everything I'm going to show you here is all on a Langmuir Systems website more or less but uh, so anyhow this is uh, the thing over here we're going to come over here select we're going to select cutting um, all this is left alone all we really need is, is cutting and then we're going to go to post process and then we're going to pro we're going to type in something to identify um, this part we're cutting so then once we have once we have a setup then we're going to come over here to cutting we click on cutting it's going to bring up another tab over here so <clears throat> every every machine like every plasma table is going to be a little different in this sense so i'm only doing it how i know to do it through the videos i've watched so we need to select a tool now there's no i haven't figured this out yet but there should i should be able to save them somehow but for whatever reason it doesn't save them so I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna select a right here create new tool it's gonna bring up this window and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go to cutter we're gonna change this to plasma cutter go over here to feed and speed this is this is about uh, it's a little slow for eighth inch plate but it does a good job so I'm gonna leave leave that alone for eighth inch plate um, with my 30 XP I drop it down to about 25 I can go a little bit higher um, like quarter inch or 25 is pretty uh, pretty good for that 25 inches a minute so once we have that selected um, I haven't touched that it's been it's worked out good as far as um, all the clearances and stuff on the parts seem to come out pretty well so all that's set up now we're gonna go down here click OK and then OK again so now we have our tool over here we got one selected uh, cutting mode through auto that's correct this here is our you know it's already been selected more or less by when we select our tool and we're going to go to the next window here geometry now here we need to we need to select all our uh, all the lines we want to cut so basically I'm going to go I'm going to select this this I don't know if, yeah it's going to select all that and you got this so now all these these red arrows here let me zoom in so this is this is what if I click on this it, it's gonna it's gonna start outside there and come in and cut we want this to start on the inside because we want the plasma cutter to start up in here and then come out and go around here so we're gonna make that start inside I'm gonna zoom in on this a little bit and make sure because we want this to cut inside too and I just I'll say that doesn't help me much interesting I'm gonna say that that's inside we'll find out we'll be able to tell before um, we go to cut it we'll, we can do a simulation then this one down here I change this to outside because we want that one to cut start outside so once we have all that selected we're good there um, heights there's there's no need for this because uh, the torch doesn't retract on this it's it's a it's a fixed position torch it doesn't go up and down to compensate for stuff so we're not going to mess with anything there uh passes so once we're here all we got to change here there's there's other options but i haven't used any of them but we just need to change this to in computer and then the last thing so because since we don't have you know a uh the torch doesn't move up and down we're going to select keep nozzle down why aren't you selecting that? Keep nozzle down. Uh, I don't mess with any of that. And then the lead out exit isn't necessary because um, it's it's just a it's lead in is you know the distance it, t it starts an arc and then goes into the cut path and then goes around. But we don't really need that because we're not when it gets to the end of the cut it just stops. We don't need a lead out for that. So that's all. Um, everything else is good for for now and then we just need to select where we want the the cutter to start at so I'm gonna go up here 
me get the camera on the right thing here. So, I can't work this computer. All right, so I'm gonna just say I want this, I want this to start right on this line. So that's where it's gonna start. You can go through and, and select multiple, but it knows it knows that we need to cut all these out. So I'm just gonna leave that one selected. That way we can try uh, see if that one cuts first. But we can select multiple lines here if we want it to start here, start over here. But this is just I want it to start here first. But actually we need we need to cut this first. So we'll select this and we'll select that. That way it cuts all these inner sides out first and then goes around the outside. So once that's done, we got three points selected, which is those three points there. Once that's done, we're going to hit OK, and it's going to generate our toolpath now. So as you can see up here, we're going to zoom in. So you can see here, all right, that was right. So that red mark is where it's going to start. So it's going to start here, go around, you're going to go on, around the inside of all this. Then that yellow line, it's going to come down. It's going to start inside there, go in, so on and so forth. And then this, this is the last place it's going to, it's going to start. I think that's where it's going to... Yeah, it's going to start and end on that green green arrow, and we can also, if we want to, if we want to make sure if this is right, we can go to simulate up there, and then we can run a little simulation of it. So that's going to do what we need to do. Um, so yeah, so the last thing to do. And this is going to change depending on the plasma cutter, I'm sure. But we're going to go to post process. And I already have the post loaded in here from Langmuir. This is something you download off their site and install on the computer. They have videos all about that. But post process, we're going to click post. And then it's going to be our title here, auction bottle cutout. We're going to click save. It's saving to desktop. Save. So that's done. And then we can go ahead, so let's back out of here, let's minimize this. We go up here to Mach 3, loader. Okay, crossfire, 1.1, okay. Here's where I'm, I'm still learning, and I can, I'm able to, to work it, so I don't, I haven't messed with it yet, but there's a better way to go about things than just manually moving the torch over and trying to do all that, but I don't know any better right now, so I'm just going to show you guys how I do it, which is working out. But anyhow, um, to start, you got to hit reset. Now, to load what we just did there, we're going to go down here, uh, load G code, or you can find it in file up there. We're going to go load G code. All right, scroll down, find what we just uh, created here. So, auction bottle cutout, open. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we're now the G code's all loaded in over here, and you can see. Um, let's see if I can drag this down. That's all our G code, all the all the cut path that it's, the machine needs. So and then we can come over here to display. We're gonna zoom in on this, and you can see that's that's what we're cutting there. So right now this is this is more or less centered up. Um, it's saying that that our our torch is centered up on the on this these these uh, purple lines here. So. In order to move the thing now, I'm gonna come out here, turn this thing on, and now I can I can move everything. Uh, I can move the torch around just by using this. But when I move the torch, you can see this changes now. So what I need to do, <clears throat> um, so I'm gonna go. I already got the plate in there that uh, I just measured out, which I think is what we need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go. All right, so that's as far as it'll go that way, so I need to move this plate down. Just give me a second. Okay, so that's that's a very top, top corner there. Now, I'm gonna come over, so you can see it, it's not all the way to the top of the display there yet. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna bring it over to the top left corner. All right, so we're right, we're right there on the edge of that plate. <clears throat> now, I know, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, I just haven't figured it out yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess with these these numbers here to try to get that those crosshairs to the top corner of this. So the x-axis, I'm going to come back. I'm going to go to 6. Whoa, negative 6. Because the thing is 12 inches wide, so that's right on the money there. I'm going to go a little more. 
That way, I'm gonna go negative 6.2, just to give ourselves a little room. Now, now I can go ahead and go all the way across to the other side. I'm gonna move the torch over there, make sure it's gonna go all the way across to where we need to cut. So yeah, it goes past it. We got room on the plate there, okay? So then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna bring it back to this top corner. That way we... Then now I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom to make sure that the thing is gonna, the torch is gonna reach all the way to the bottom. You're watching that. All right, so that's all the way to the bottom. We're gonna be good there. We got plate. So we should be good. All we need to do now is uh, press cut. So we should be we should be ready to rock now. All we need to do I'm gonna give this side a little, just a little bit more. Six point three. No, negative. Negative six point three. So there you can see we're outside of the cut zone just to give ourselves a little a little extra space on the edge of the, on the edge of this plate. So we should be good now. All we need to do is come over here, press cycle start, and the thing uh, things should start up. Plasma cutter's on, this is on, compressor's on, it might get a little loud if it, if it needs air, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and press cycle start. I should probably, uh, I'm not sure, but I, I could speed up the, uh, the cut rate a little bit, which I probably should go ahead and do. But it does, it does a good job, you know, so maybe I won't mess with it, but eh. So anyhow, now we got some, uh, some dinner plates and we got our first piece cut out. This is just gonna be the first, you know, the front main piece. Um, then I can go, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the the other piece we need to hold the bottles in. Okay, so I got this piece cut out. Um, so we're basically building a a box, but we don't need. We're not going to close in every side. We're going to leave the bottom open, and the so like as it sits on the truck, this this side will be open, and the bottom side will be open. So we're going to plate this side the top of it and then obviously the back side so the bottles can't slide through and then this here bolt this here will go around the two um, outlets of the bottle and then one single in the middle and of course we're going to weld a, uh, a logo to the center bolt to tighten and un uh, loosen it so that's that's that um, I'm not going to video it because we got you know this video is already very very long as is um, going through and explaining it but obviously guys, um, if you're in the market and starting out, I don't see any issue with this machine. It's, it's done me well um, so far, and I think it'll continue to be, you know, definitely a plus around the shop um, if it doesn't have any issues. But that being said, that being said guys, that's uh, gonna wrap up this video. What are you doing, big guy? <laughs> but that being said, that's gonna wrap up this video guys. Um, like I said, very long so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i might include a picture of the finished product at the end of the uh, bottle rack um but anyhow guys thanks for watching and uh we'll see you all in the next one thanks guys